Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this mountain weather update. My first stop on this Saturday is where it is snowing right now. This is Alta, Utah. And between Snowbird and Alta, they're reporting four to five inches of new snow. And I think we could still see another two, maybe three inches before all is said and done up there at Alta and Snowbird. In Purgatory, in Colorado, five inches in the last 24 hours. I think we could add another three to six before all is said and done but that's uh that's purgatory in southwest colorado and up the road up on the uh the elk range we've got aspen mountain just a couple of flurries coming down really just waiting on things to start here on the winds to to turn more out of the northwest and then i think we'll start to see some snow accumulation probably six seven or eight inches up there aspen and snow mass out of this storm system all right let's look ahead here are my bullet points as we head into Christmas and beyond. So what we're seeing right, happen right now is the merger of two different areas of energy, one coming out of the north, another one coming from the south. That's why we're seeing such widespread snow. Um, and that'll continue into uh, tomorrow for Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. Now, looking ahead, the Pacific Northwest has a shot of heavy snow, especially BC, up towards Baker and Rainier and Whistler, Blackcomb, 1225 and 1226. Uh, California, your next shot of heavy snow is not until 1229 and 1230. And the interior Rockies, so Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, could see a storm system on or around New Year's Eve that comes through with some light to moderate snow accumulations. All right, let me take you back. I want to show you the, uh, the water vapor satellite imagery. So on this, again, your moisture aloft is going to be in your whites and your blues. And so we've got um, a little bit of energy here and also energy right here. And the two, again, are going to meet up and merge over Wyoming and Colorado today. That's why we're seeing snow. Here comes this very large storm system. So this is a major player for BC and also parts of the Pacific Northwest. That happens 1225 and 1226. And then there's energy behind it. You can see it. So that'll eventually plow into California in the form of a heavy shot of snow for the Sierra. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the situation by this afternoon at 5 p.m. You can see the snow and the two pieces of energy merging overnight into tomorrow. And at this point, we're seeing snow through Colorado all the way down into Denver. Um, the best shot of snow for Denver is late tonight into Sunday morning. Um, once the temperatures turn cold enough, it'll probably start as a little bit of rain or drizzle and then turn over to snow. And then by Sunday afternoon, uh, most of the leftover snow is in Colorado's mountains. The low is moving away by Christmas morning. It may be sunny in Wyoming and in most of Colorado with increasing clouds in, Wy in, in uh, Utah. And then look up to the Pacific Northwest. You can see all that moisture that is streaming into BC in the Pacific Northwest, 25, 26. All right, here we are on Monday afternoon. Look at that big chunk of moisture, big slug. And here's Tuesday morning, a little bit of wraparound snow through the eastern plains of Colorado with that cyclonic curvature of that low. Um, so the clouds may come back over Denver on Tuesday morning. And then look up in the Pacific Northwest in BC, heavy snow up there. Let's do Tuesday afternoon right here. A little wave uh, gets sent down through uh, Idaho. Here comes that next storm system, and this one affects more of the West Coast, all the way from B.C., Washington, Oregon, down into California. Here comes California's shot. A little bit of light snow right there on 1227. But the bigger shot for the Sierra comes later in the period, 1229, 1230, like I was saying. All right, let's look at the last frame here. So this is 1228, late in the day. You can see a little bit of a disturbance sliding through Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming. Um, we'll see what that develops into for New Year's Eve. All right, let's talk about the jet stream uh, forecast here. So this is 1224, late in the day. So New Year's Eve late. You can see a little bit of a trough there over uh, Wyoming and Colorado. That's the low that will be moving away on Christmas Day. Here's the jet pattern further down the road. In fact, this is January 1st of 2024. So you've got a powerful subtropical jet. You've got the northern branch throwing moisture out um, you know, from the Pacific into uh, the West Coast. So this could translate into an active pattern heading into January. All right, let me show you what the forecast radar is and satellite. So this is New Year's Eve in the morning. This is 1231 at 5 in the morning. You can see um, snow that is passing through Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. So that's a possibility on 1231. That could set us up for a little bit of powder on New Year's Eve and potentially New Year's Day. All right, here's my forecast snow um, through the 25th. So this is all left over in Wyoming and in uh, Utah. Again, we could see two or three more inches of snow in those areas. Um, most of the snow in Colorado you see here has yet to fall. So about five on the way for Crested Butte, six, seven, or eight for Snowmass Aspen. 
um, Telluride, Silverton. Um, again, some of that snow has already fallen in southwest Colorado, but we could add another three to six. Now, across the Front Range and the, the Front Range High Peaks Continental Divide, five to eight on the way, roughly Loveland up to Winter Park, a base in Keystone, a little bit less at Eldora. Um, let me zoom in on that map so you can really see it. So there's Denver down there, potentially one to three inches across the Denver metro um, in the western suburbs. But you're looking to the west through the foothills and up to the Continental Divide, so anywhere from four to eight in most of those areas in the foothills and uh, five, six, seven inches through Summit County, Vail up to Winter Park, Steamboat, and uh, up towards Cameron Pass and Longs Peak. All right, here's a second period, 1226 to 1228. Not a lot happening here um, except for the Pacific Northwest. Third period, um, this is that potential uh, storm system for New Year's Eve. You can see it kind of driving south, a little bit of light to moderate snow accumulation, especially in parts of Colorado and northern New Mexico, and probably 6 to 12 there for the high Sierra. One last stop. This is in the northeast. Again, um, this storm system that hits 1227, 1228 is mainly rain, but it will probably turn over to snow on the tail end, and that's why you're, you could see some light accumulations in uh, the Northeast. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this update. Always appreciate it. Uh, you tuning in here and take care.